scar massage. Uh, the way I teach cesarean scar massage is actually with no lotions or creams at all. Two reasons for that. The first is that you can actually get really great drag on the tissue when you're doing a dry massage, and that has a huge impact on the fascia, scar tissue, the tightness, and any sticky things that are happening. The second reason is that straight up, like, you're busy. How are you having lotions and creams lying around whenever you get the chance to do your scar massage? Uh, but if you do, it's not incorrect to use them. They just may not allow the techniques that I specifically teach to be as impactful. That's all. The majority of cesarean incisions are made through the pubic hair line, so ingrown hairs can be a challenge for some moms. So to prevent ingrown hairs, here's one thing. Instead of shaving clean directly on the skin, try to leave a little bit, like a couple of millimeters of hair growth at all times so that there will be no opportunity for ingrown. Uh, but if you already have an ingrown hair, a couple of things to consider. Please don't try to pinch it or pop it out. You don't want to disturb that scar healing. Put hot or sorry, warm compresses on the area just to try to coax that, uh, that hair to grow out and then follow suggestion number one. Now, if there is a localized stubborn infection, please do see your physician just to make sure you take care of it. Um, but if you if you don't, please, please don't leave it because it can really start to, the scar can grow into and around the hair. To this pregnant mama, what you may be describing might be PGP or pelvic girdle pain. Uh, not exactly sure uh, the location of what down there means for you, but if you refer to actual pelvic floor heaviness, that is also possible.